good afternoon from wherever you are ladies and gentlemen welcome and uh, welcome to the potsy tv uh, a fast growing youtube channel and ladies and gentlemen wherever you are subscribe like comment and uh, let's have an engagement on various issues on politics on issues that uh, we shall all discuss regarding our country and regarding our region so welcome and today we want to have a keen look at the kisi county politics and ladies and gentlemen the kisi county governor politics has gained momentum and friends it is hotter than expected with the entry of one Simbarati to the race from the Goriti North, with the entry of Professor Sam Mungeri, and after UDA, your nominated governor, uh, the, their aspirant, Ezekiel Machogu, the race to succeed the first governor, James Elvis Omaribongwai, has gained momentum. And of recent, we have seen a lot of intrigues. We have seen a lot of issues that have come. And uh, I want us to look at what has happened. And specifically, we want to look at one, the Dagoreti North MP, Simbarati. Simbarati was elected in Dagoreti in the year 2013. And uh, he is a two-time uh, MP in Nairobi, in Dagoreti. And uh, he has shown his interest in succeeding the first governor, James Elvis Marimogwa. And uh, Simbarati has, has, has done high-voltage campaigns in the recent past. But also, a lot of things and a lot of issues have come on board. Sources reveal that one Simbarati three months ago was being funded by Fred Matiani. And uh, some of the analysts project that this funding was not only to support Arati to be governor, but this funding was to help cut Governor James Ongwai into size. Governor James Ongwai and Fred Matiani have had a cold war for quite some time. Ladies and gentlemen, you can remember in the Bonchari by-election where Fred Matiani supported Zebedeo Opore and James Sungwai supported uh, the now MP for Ineke. And in one press conference, Governor Ongwai did lecture. About 50 of them to the Tia Maria vehicle, and they actually broke down my gate and came in that I was having a meeting in my house before the curfew hours were out. I found it a very sad thing for this country because I am not a governor by accident. I was appointed, I was elected by the people of Kisi County. Over 1.3 million people, they elected me. In fact, overwhelmingly because the, the candidate who was number two, I beat him by about over 100 votes over 100,000 votes. So, what happened was, was an issue that I, I, when the police were asked, they said that they had been given instructions from somebody who's very senior in the office of the, in the, in the Ministry of the I've been around up to his face, Fred Matiani, against involving himself in PC County politics and uh, against using the police 
against the Kisi County politicians. So for quite a long time, James Ongwai and Fred Matiangi have been in loggerheads. Ladies and gentlemen, it has not been easy. So after Fred Matiangi suffering a humiliation in Bonchari, where Governor James Ongwai won, Fred Matiangi started the process of cutting Ongwai into size. Fred Matiangi funded and has been funding one Simbarati to do campaigns all over here. In one of the clips in uh, South Mogirango, uh, Simbarati is seen to propel uh, Fred Matiangi as one person who is the kingpin of Kisi. And in that meeting, uh, uh, Governor uh, the Simbarati was humiliated because the people refused to, 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 to have uh, him project Matiangi as the Kisi County of the Gusi County. Osoro, yeah, I know one of them. I can go and watch the issue. Root of the Gatia of Quegas, you can see. I can't get a lot of it. Come there, or no one of me to carry this world with the car of Mako or Yakia, Baker is right with it. When you are seven, the biggest game of what Namu Nam Kara, I'm senior than him, no one of me. Think of it. Again, don't come there, I can't get called Wega, Yokora, Yanaba, Moravik, Matianga, Momaka Runa, Omondo Kurgonga, a Kara Iran Kumare president, Momokovoya, I wear opinion. Abagiranga <laughs> That aside, we have had a lot of intrigues. And uh, after Matiangi pumping a lot of money to Arati, Arati went and did a lot of campaigns all over. He bribed voters all over. He held meetings all over. And in these meetings, one thing is clear that one Simba Rati was castigating the now Kisi County Governor James Ongwai. Ebu Angalia, Angalia Mtu Mbaa Yuko Karibna Wea, Yafikana Ni Mwuri Baru. Ebu Angalia Kama Mtu Mbaa Yuko Karibna Wea, Yuko Karibna Wea, Yuko Kama Mwuri. Eh, Apa, Aya. Nikisema Raila mnasema Azimio, Nikisema Azimio mnasema na Eskana. Raila! Azimio! Sasa wakati huu tutakaribisha kila mtu wale wa Jubilee, wale ambao wako pamoja, wa UPA, wa DPA ambao tutaungana pamoja. Leo tumefanya mkutano wa ndugu zetu ambao ni delegate wa ODM. Na tumesema, mimi ndiye generali mkubwa wa chama cha ODM hapa kisi. Sisi, eke kusit na ato wata ya nduru wa kiru matiri tiri. Chuhu wana ine? Ukei gaminka. Na averu mojumbe, kusena araire na irobie miaka iko mine etano. Emiaka etano mnumu mkansula, emiaka iko mnumu mojumbe. Nyasae kawancha. Bosongo ya itoga iga, mpakenya kita alia itoga. Lazima tonyirosi, abaga, abangina, abagaka, mbaba soko kuogo kubago kwa. Chidi spensari. Naende nya kita alia iga iga. Onyora accident mono iga. Oimu ororo. Noena macha alia kubekebua. Naro. 
abanya kitali ba ndebi na omwe shimi anyora dentu bona iga tuko ile maiga koko soa eto koko tumura gura mache tuto kubiki na meki kaki level 6 mwana mario katayo kaki mwanje ndebi gendelele tiganda bole ndeke mwanyo onye ko bwa tese he took and attacked Governor James Ongwai mercilessly in his meetings. And in one meeting, he said that Governor James Ongwai is corrupt. Governor James Ongwai has had a lot of uh, goodies and the people around him have taken government uh, funding against the people of PC County. His meetings were characterized by a lot of attacks to the governor. Even in radio stations, Arati was attacking our governor, James Elvis and Maribogwa. Then, James Elvis and started campaigning against Arati. In one meeting at the PC Agricultural Training College, ATC, he called all the other aspects so that he can make them unite against Tarat. In this, he said that the next Kisi County governor will come out of there. And friends, this was seen as an attack to tame one Tarat. But Arati was not tamed by this meeting. He continued with his offensive charm against Ongwai. Days later, Azimio rallies were postponed one after the other. A lot of things happened. Azimio rallies were seen as very dangerous to be held here. But a month ago, an Azimio rally was held at the Kisi Sports Club. In this rally, it is worth noting that no ODM politician spoke in that meeting apart from Arati and one Deputy Governor, George Mann. <laughs> crowd shouted everybody down except including James Marwangwa and uh, after this a lot has happened since then since the last has been right that people have decamped from ODM people have left the party a case study is the Morenda MCA on party who has left the party and a lot has happened very many people have left very many sitting MCAs have left the party a week ago governor James Elvis Marigongwai sent a delegation 
to Aratis Hall, who were delegates of the ODM. And what's noting, they were friends and close confidence of uh, James Elvis Marwangwa in that meeting. In that meeting, they agreed to support Arati for government. A week after the endorsement, the endorsement of Arati, a lot of things have happened. Yesterday, we had a, 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 a rumor around that one, our current women was awarded the ODM certificate. And uh, analysts say that this is a broader plan by Elvis Ungwai to cut her out into size. Because those who understand the Kisi County politics, this is clan based. Each clan must be represented on the table. So if one uh, Mama County is given the ODM ticket and comes from the same region as one Simbarati, then Simbarati's goose is already cooked. The political advisor of one um, James Songwai made a comment and said that after awarding the women rep the ODM certificate, then Bobasi is done. So other clans must come and do and take a share and be on the team. Very many questions have come out of this analysis. And I wish my viewer to get a keen look of what will happen in the next few days. But one of the ana analysts says that James Sungwa is on a mission on a mission to stop Arati from being the government of this county. Another one says that one James Ongwai is on a mission to become the Kusi King. Also worth noting, in one of the meetings, Arati says that he is going to deal with Matiangi when he becomes governor. And Matiangi currently has stepped aside from funding his campaigns. And uh, the most important thing here to note, will one Simbarati bankroll his campaign? Does he have the capacity to campaign? Close confidence of Simbarati have said that he is stressed currently because Matiangi has refused to fund him. That's why he has taken quite some time in it. Ladies and gentlemen, we, we are headed to a tough battle. And as nominations will be held on Saturday the 7th April, we are yet to see what will happen. And if Janet Ongera has been awarded the ODM tickets, what will happen to Hans Barat? Will he buy and will Robasi have two candidates? These are questions that we will answer in our next segment. But my friends, Kisi County is hotter than expected. And this round, analysts say that the next governor will have 100,000 votes, not the usual win of 200,000 votes. Thank you for tuning in to our channel and we are